Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. It's not good afternoon. It's good evening. Yeah, it's a really good evening. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Merry Christmas and almost Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and almost Happy New Year. We've already said that, but we yeah. can say it for our people. All right. So let's catch up. Let's catch up. What's new? Nothing is new. Just holiday season. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> excuse her podcasters i mean she doesn't allow sometimes for complete sentences uh, <laughs> but uh nothing much as i said before <clears throat> but um just the holiday season and all the running running around that that brings but very very fun a lot of work and yeah good it's good we're not done yet though but it's on the way you're on the way down yeah what about you you're on the way down um good so last week i worked from home two days Mm -hmm. no two days three days i don't know um covid scare omicron 614 covid tests later still covid free right grateful for that um how many q-tips have embedded my brain i don't know but i think i have kept johnson and johnson and my brain cells in business probably lost a few. Yes, you have. But I'm good to go. Yes. yes, you have. Good. So grateful. Though I did get sick. Non-COVID related. Uh-huh. I got like a spontaneous stomach flu. Yeah. That lasted for like, well, like the fevery stuff lasted for like eight hours. Right. But like I would get random sharp stabbing stomach pains. Hmm. And I was like, is this an ulcer? Is this H. pylori? I've Googled it all. Is this how it ends? I'm sure you I'm sure you have. So we're on Zoom today. Because well, we're busy folk. That's right. And we didn't have a chance to get together today, but we wanted to get it done today. That's right. I say that because I was getting ready to say, did you just see that light go off and give me a heart attack? <laughs> Not at all. I was like, mm, didn't see it. I have got my lights set up on a timer to come uh-huh. off and on. And this was right. like, you shouldn't be here yet. Why are you home, right. ma'am? Yeah. So it so it just cut off and it gave me. Well, it scared me. And now it's back on. Well, I'm glad you're not scared anymore. Well, don't get crazy. <laughs> I didn't say all that. True. Sure. Good. So how are you feeling? Pretty good. Pretty you good. Have a good Christmas? Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I had a very good Christmas. It's just, I'm just worn down though, physically. But in terms of just Christmas itself, yeah, absolutely a very good Christmas. Um, so family and friends and just being thankful, you know, and then able to do the music things that I love to do. And so I so yeah, it's been a very good Christmas. What'd you get for Christmas? What I get for Christmas? I don't know. A lot of different stuff, I guess. I mean, checking a list, checking it twice. <laughs> um, I got you a good present. I got you highlighters. Oh, jail okay. highlighters. Oh, cool. Did you realize you got jail highlighters? I mean, yeah. I think I just have you ever yeah. have you ever used a gel highlighter? Yes, I have. There is something that makes my Virgo OCD self so happy when you make that smooth gel streak across the page and it does not smear. Yeah, I've got problems. That's okay. You know, let me tell you, like some of my favorite presents. What? Because you being all stealth and quiet about it. And I won't. I'll tell you what I got. This you- I got this bag. Look, my daughter got me this bag. Uh-huh. And I told her to tell other people to get me this bag, and she got it. <laughs> she said, look, I'm your baby. Get I know, but I thought, look, and it's so cute. And it's, so it's like my super, I feel like a snow bunny on a business trip. Right. So this is what I'm using as my laptop bag now. Okay. And it's so super cute. 
and I love it. And it's got all the pockets. I'll post a picture of it on Instagram so everyone else can see how cute my new laptop bag is. Thank you. Um, I also got a Tumi purse. Like, I mean, you know the type of purse I carry, but they don't. I always carry like a purse that is probably like four inches by eight inches. And it goes uh-huh. like around my neck and then hits at the hip, you know, like across the shoulder. Because I go to yeah. Disney a lot and I need to carry my phone and a car right. and a key. It needs to be that size. Right. And I got a to me one. And I was so excited because my other one was a Lululemon one and it was mint green and orange and it was filthy. And I tried to wash it in the washing machine. And I should not have tried to wash it in the washing machine. <laughs> Lulu said bye-bye. <laughs> well, it's not burnt, but it didn't bode well for it. Okay. I mean, you can still carry it carry it where though <laughs> i mean like this is what i will use that purse for because i don't get rid of nothing until it's completely lived its lifespan and i think that this one is in its last 10 percent of life uh-huh. but it would be a real good bag to carry like riding bikes down the west Orange trail okay put a okay. phone in it's got a little bit of reflector on it mm-hmm. you know like i think it would be good for that so i might use right, it right, for that right. and um, I got some cute clothes from my mama and makeup and okay. eyelashes. Mm-hmm. And though these eyelashes you see right now, they ain't from my mom. These are from the Dollar Tree. Okay. Don't be sleeping on the Dollar Tree lashes, ladies. I'm just saying. Okay. You Don't heard of that. Don't Dollar sleep Tree. On. Yes. Tony, I think is a brand. I mean, there's some that ain't cute, but then you get these feathery ones. Listen, mm-hmm. those are cute. Not even on. Had them on all day. It's now seven, almost seven. Yeah, it's almost seven at night. Had them on since five forty-five this morning. Good. Well, yeah, as long as it works for you. Listen, and so that was fun. And I mean, I have to say, it was probably. One of the best Christmases in a long time. Tark and Isabel's dad came into town. Okay. So they got to see him and um, he made it back to Texas, safe and sound in one piece. Yeah, You know, he drives that straight through from Orlando to Austin. Yeah. That I don't know been. how many hours that is, but it's about three plenty. hours. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. Well, no, I know that when I drove from Atlanta to Texas, that was a month of Sundays. So I don't know. I don't even know how he does it. But yeah. anyway, he does it. So more power to him. Yeah, that's crazy. So I'm grateful that he's home safe and sound. Um, my niece got married. Congratulations. Yes. Her niece? little Miss Macy is now Macy Moody, not Macy Allen. Okay. I so wanted to go. And I didn't get to go. That weekend, my life was in a, well, you know. Well, it was a hot mess. It was okay. And then COVID flights getting canceled. And <sighs> anyway, the important thing is she got married. Yep. And, and she's, she's happy. happy. Yep. And she married oh. a wonderful boy. Man, mm-hmm. I say boy because they still babies to me. But yeah, so now you're caught up on my life. I mean, I could actually talk about a whole lot more, but I'm stopping because I'm just feel like. Oh, you, you have been, I've been enjoying it. I've been <laughs> enjoying it along with the rest of the listeners about what <laughs> you've been doing. <laughs> so I'm just like, you keep right ahead. You go right ahead. Talk about it. But um, yeah, my Christmas was great. Um, you know, personally, you know, then I had, you know, I had my daughter in town. So that was great. Um, and so, so that's always neat to have my baby girl here. And so, so then we saw family and all his friends and all this stuff right here. And so it was just neat to, you know, reconnect and then doing Disney stuff and the candlelight processional. That's been so much fun and church having church, uh, had our church cantata and that went well and, and, you know, and then my community choir, we did our back the winter garden um 
theater, Garden Theater, did our Christmas concert there. So it was great to be back home there because I hadn't been there in over 10 years. So that was great to go back there. So and over yeah. how many? Over 10. Um, oh, I didn't know if you said two then, or 10. No. And then um, and then UCF had our concert. So it's been, you know, professionally and personally, you know, really satisfying, you know, really gratifying, I should say. Um, so it's like now almost done with this and stuff and just sort of now just okay okay now getting ready to just kind of a couple more days get some more rest and just reboot and get ready for the spring and some exciting topics on our podcast coming up and then the travel season coming up you know and then UCF and community choir stuff so I'm excited about this semester just a lot of great things going on and so just I'm very, very, very thankful. You said travel. I have one more thing I would like to share. What is that? I got a coat. This is a Toomey coat that turns into a Toomey travel pillow. And I really just want to go somewhere to wear it and use it. <laughs> and then go back to shopping. <laughs> I mean, I just want to say, because I really like it. It's, listen, I used to have this Burton travel hoodie, like in 2007, maybe. Uh-huh. Burton is a snowboarding company because I don't think you would know that. No. But they I are. Would. I do know that. Mm-hmm. And I loved it. It had like thumb holes and it went in and it had all these pockets. It was great. And I've looked for it for years. And then I got this to me travel coat. And the big thing that was big about it, it's got the thing turns into a neck pillow. Uh huh. But, but you know what? Hold on. I'm going to give you a visual. Here it is. You see, so you do this and then this can connect. I'm giving him a visual guys. Yeah. Cause I can, can you explain that to but, the audience? So Please. there is a travel pillow, but this is the exciting part. Look, they can't see explain. I'm to them. telling you it's sleep hood. Okay. So still connected to the I'm tra- looking at it on zoom. <laughs> I will put, I'll put a picture on Instagram. I'll put a picture of my purse and my travel hoodie. Neck okay, pillow coat. Can you tell me something? Look, I'm like, sorry. Um, but podcast. you saw it. You got. You ain't gonna lie. That's super cool, right? right. Am I right? Am I right? It's really so, cool. I gotta go somewhere, right? Because I need to wear it and use it. God, I'm so excited. Anyway, sorry. Speaking of New Year, you got any resolutions? Mm. I don't know. Still, I, I'm still. I just, I just, I just hit that one with you, didn't I? Yeah, I, said, I just listen, threw the ball. I hit like a <laughs> I'm Still processing. Processing. I hate that word. Still we all know you do, but um, that's what I'm doing. I'm not processing. I have them. Well, good for you. You're better than the most of us. <laughs> you know what they are. You know what they are. What? To be as awesome as I am today. Next year. Oh, okay. Just trying to maintain. Okay, good for you. I'm just kidding. That's such a lie. That may really a lie. I understand. <laughs> um, no, one of them. I'm going to start the journey. Start it because this is not going to happen in a year. Yeah. So, for those of you who don't know, which I think we've kind of—I don't know if we have—I don't even remember what we've talked about anymore on here anymore. I don't remember, but I have health issues. Uh-huh. Like I've had some like mega health struggles, one being lupus. Um, but treatments and medications and things like that over time has really taken a toll on my body. Mm-hmm. And this year I'm going to start the road to getting myself to being where I should be. And I'm also, I want to look into working. I have a very high tolerance of pain, like an unhealthy high tolerance of pain. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to work with a pain clinic and Uh really try to figure out how to get that figured out to understand my body's other signals. So good idea. I don't get myself sicker. Yeah. So 
because pain will present as certain things. It could be a hot flash. It could be like mm-hmm. tingling. It could be, but not necessarily pain like we think of. Right. So I've got to learn to read my body. Right, 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 right. So that's one of mine. Another one of mine is always improve. I'm going to mm-hmm. work to always, I mean, me and you both are like therapy self-help junkies, right? Yeah. So that goes without saying. Mm-hmm. Get better at meditating. Yeah. Get a closer relationship with God. Mm-hmm. And be a better mama. Yeah. Not saying I'm a bad mama. I'm just saying right. I always want to be better in that. Right. And there's probably more, but that's the start. It. Yeah, I have a list I'm working on, so I'm still processing. You know, figuring it out. You know what one of mine is for you? What? To get you to wear contacts half the time. Yeah, that won't happen. You know why I just said that? Like, uh, not really. It's really not. But I'm looking at you right now, and you ain't got your glasses on. Why you look 16? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm not but yeah <laughs> without your glasses you seriously look like you are like, not 16 but you look late 20s mm-hmm. i mean you put them on you don't maybe you got some good light going on right now are those the same glasses or did you just switch between two pair same glasses maybe I same need glasses, glasses same blind <laughs> no when you have them off you look you ain't got a wrinkle on your forehead. Um, yeah, I do. Your when, you, is- when you mush it together. My Botox lady tells me that I have a highly expressive face. And you know what I do when she says that? What? Become very expressive. Because they don't know. So, so explain. Oh, yeah. Do. Oh, man. Shoot. Doesn't- See, I forget that this should. At times, I really wish that this was a visual medium. Mm-hmm. Tell you, we got to do. We got to do one that's live and have everybody come on and join in, and they can see us talking. I mean, we could probably do that on Instagram, but I don't know how we would have to like test it. Okay. Probably anyway. Mm-hmm. So that being said. Hmm. Um. Is there anything in particular you want to cover today? Uh, no, is this is really I'm waiting. Honestly, I'm waiting for January. That sounds kind of weird because <laughs> we have such, you but know, we're in a holding this, pattern. This is this is total. Okay, what's going on for everyone's on vacation? You know, and and to for the new year. You know, up into the new year. So this is this is a down season, downtime. So for that being said, I'm just like, hey get ready podcasters there's gonna be a whole lot going on we had a very successful first year not even the first year it's not even done yet Mm-mm. Mm-mm. it's 25 26 27 episodes in 20 i don't know yeah 25 i think i think 25 and we were gonna do one last week but it turned to the thing of like no. Let's take vacation. Yeah. I mean, you you gotta you have to um like stop. We didn't want to force it. Work. Yeah, you have to work work life balance. And so we're yeah. look, we're looking at this saying, okay, so do do a Christmas, do you take one week off? Do you take two weeks off? You know what I'm saying? Um, that's when you have some extras in the pipeline and we just, you know, our vacation ones or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So we're learning as we go. And so that's also neat. So one thing that I will say is that we have got a few topics coming up um, that we're going to talk about. Mm-hmm. And if, well, if you know me and Jeff, like in real life, I mean, I kind of said it earlier, but we are self-help junkies Mm -hmm. because we had to help ourselves. (laughs) Mm -hmm. But like, there's many times that 
it takes a lot. Let me say it this way. I am a type A personality. I like perfection. Anybody who is not a perfectionist can say that perfection cannot be achieved. Mm -hmm. Although my mind knows that my heart still struggles with that daily. Mm -hmm. So me searching for acceptance and accepting myself and being happy within myself and figuring out and always being miserable and feeling bad about me. It took me on like a self-help road of discovery, then going to therapy and then my why and da 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 da, right? To figure out how to cope with being a perfectionist. Because mm-hmm. that's a hard road. Right. And because I'm perfectionist in everything and I am a control freak, you know that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was a passive aggressive. Mm-hmm. No, that but, was not passive aggressive at all. That was literally direct. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't passive aggressive at all. But, you know, it is something that I have had to work on a lot. And that not work on, I am working on. And always looking for growth. And, you know, doing this podcast for a lot of people, you know, we've had judgment and we've had people be like, what are you doing? Mm, This is stupid. Uh," You know, like anytime you put, and I mean, you probably know it as a musician because, Mm -hmm. but I'm not a musician, so Mm -hmm. it's different. But anytime you put your craft or something that you're passionate about out there, getting rejected hurts it depends yes yes Uh it because it's it's a moment of vulnerability right 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 you're being vulnerable and saying hey this is who i am this is something i feel good about and so if somebody says you know "Mm, that's garbage it's taken a point to me to where in my head like i can be like "Mm, you're garbage not really you're garbage that was kind of mean i didn't mean it exactly that way but like if the only thing that you can do is knock me down, mm-hmm. then there's a problem with you. Mm. And through saying like, I would rather produce something that isn't great, but feel like I'm putting myself out there and being open and vulnerable. than mm. think I should do something and do nothing. I would rather be proactive than saying, I wish I would have. I would rather fail than say, I wish I would have tried. I would rather, and through therapy and self-help has got me there. And for me, that's a crazy thing to say. Right, 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 right. right. And so that's what our next little season is. We were, we started this knowing our intention. And now I think we're getting more. Streamlined, focused on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And. So what we want to do now is make sure that we get to a point where we can help you more. And again, we are just going to be like regurgitating information and our life experiences, right? Like we're going to give you resources. Our show notes are probably going to get quite a bit more in depth because I've got like 10 weeks of them already written Mm -hmm. for the stuff coming up to give you resources to go to and things to look at and but we're going to keep the funny in it too because like our failures are kind of funny Mm -hmm. like a lot of them are funny right and some of our successes are funny like this is kind of funny okay (laughs) i mean i still find it funny you know what i find funny red and green it's so bizarre that we have two last names that are color. Yeah, that is. And then look right now, look at my face. Although it does look like I could be getting shot. I've got a laser thing outside for Christmas and it's red and green. Mm -hmm. That's just like the Lord saying, see, it's right. Although some might say it's a sniper laser on me. I just, (laughs) okay. Too much criminal (laughs) minds. You went from Lord, some kind of strange 
<laughs> I'm just saying as low. And then you turn around and say, killing. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just saying, I think of a laser pointer on a gun. Too much uh-huh. criminal minds. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I was being facetious. But right, right. No, I mean, I think it's funny how the names worked out, the podcast worked out, how mm-hmm. something I have no idea. And literally, there are some people that I know who are the techiest people on the planet. Mm-hmm. And I kind of went to them for help and guidance, and I didn't get anything. Really? Really. And I forged myself to try to figure it out. And here we are. Did it. Which gave me, like, a new strength, like, in my own capability. Yeah. And then you know how to do it now. Yeah. Which I think is, no offense, but you are not a techie. I'm not a techie. But you are much less of a techie than I'm a techie. Mm. <laughs> but you can sing. Mm. Thanks. <laughs> that was a, I, that would have been a perfect opportunity for you to break out in some type of ditty of some sort. I didn't get the cue. You should have a cue card up, sing. So. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that would be a good idea. If we zoom, we could have cue cards. But I wouldn't do it just because I would just be being me, being me. <laughs> I, do I would do it i would do it um but so what i will say is this two books and i recommend audio if you have audible this is not paid mm-hmm. this is just i think you'll co-sign because you do it too but audible daring greatly renee brown yes. and yeah. what's it what's the other title jeff of which one the other Brene Brown, I mean, there's a hundred. They're all good, but that's not what I want to. Yeah, I'm not sure then what you're talking about. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Rising Strong. Yep. Listen to one of those, part of those. Listen to her TED Talk. But we're going to, in the month of January, talk about guilt and shame. Guilt mm. and shame. <laughs> and it's funny. It's not really funny. But, I mean, yeah. we'll make it funny. Because some of my guilt and shame is funny. Mm-hmm. you want to tell them what we're going to talk about in february no just go ahead and tell it because I don't, I don't have my notes in front of me so oh because we're zooming yeah <laughs> sorry hey you didn't let me know tell them we're going to do a family okay so i wasn't prepared so you just tell listen them. keeping it keeping it spontaneous oh yeah you do <laughs> that's true a good time um love because it's valentine's day mm-hmm And I've got opinions. We know. <laughs> Wait until February. We know. um and then March. Mm-hmm. Fear. So guilt and shame, love and fear. Hmm. Hmm. It could change, but it probably won't. But on our website, redandgreen.com, there's going to be worksheets and things for you to download. So we want to make it to where, like, you literally can work through some of this stuff in your head right. and have some resources. But I'm going to give you more resources. Um, we're going to try, try to do some lives, but we're going to have to schedule it. And his schedule is psycho. I work Monday through Friday. Seven to five. His is crazy. Mm-hmm. Mine's working around a bowl. But we want to figure out a time to where you can get on. Um, so there's going to be new things coming up in this right. year. That's right. Am I missing something? Because I feel like I'm leaving something out. Not at all. Well, I mean, if you do. If I do, I'll post it on Instagram, I guess. Um, so anyway, though, guys. Did you have to say something funny? I have nothing that's funny to say. I'm not that spontaneous. So I just can't just say something. I mean, I've been saying that <laughs> like for the past four I'm, weeks. I've said I'm not a minstrel. <laughs> Do this. Look, look, uh, look, for like the past, last four weeks, I basically said, say something funny. At the end, because it was too deep. 
But I mean, it wasn't that deep this time. You don't really have to be funny, but I felt like we were we were doing something with that. And uh, I guess we're not. No, no, no. Um, but yes. Guess what? No, you said but. But check us out. It's gonna be fun. Thank you for supporting us. It's gonna be great. Instagram. Follow. Facebook. We stink at it. I keep saying I'm going to get better. I have not. Guess what? I'm people. I'm going to let you down. All people are going to let you down. I don't want to let you down, but I think I've let you down. And I'm going to try to do better, but I might not. Because you know what? I'm people. Only person that won't let you down. God, all people will let you down. I'm sorry. But I'm going to do better. Wow. <laughs> you like that. You know you did. That's a whole lot to say. To, a lot mm-hmm. to say. But just say, oops. Let me get better. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to try. Listen, I keep saying I'm going to try to get better. Yeah. But I can't guarantee that I will get better. Right. That's okay. It is okay. So I think this is probably going to be it right here <laughs> for this episode. There's no need to linger. We thank you so much for being with us <gasps> during this Christmas holiday season. You're a poet and don't know it, and you rhymed every time. Okay, anyway, so um, please don't forget to follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, and what else? Is that well, it? I would say TikTok. We have one, but you won't do it. So once okay, you do, and, and not on TikTok because I'm not on it. But uh, so again, thank you so much. We hope you had a wonderful time with your family and can, if those who are still on vacation, continue enjoy. Um, and we'll see you soon at in 2022. And um, oh yeah, this is our last episode of 2021. Yes. Oh, uh, thank we you for a good it. year, guys. Look, yeah. oh, I got for clipped all of a sudden. I just made that realization. Yep. 2021. Awesome. Next level. Let's go. So all right. We'll see you soon on red and red green. and green. The podcast. podcast.